Aloha guys, it's Logan back with GoGo -Go Rental. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to assemble and disassemble your Schiller water bike. The first thing we need to do to assemble our Schiller water bike is take everything out of the bag. The bike is gonna be part of the last step, so you can just move that off to the side for now. Now that we have everything out of the bag, let's do a quick inventory check. So in every water bike rental, you should have two tunes, two running boards, four metal poles, your bag, a pump, and the bike frame. So everything's here. We're gonna start by inflating our two tunes. The first thing that you wanna check before inflating is that this little yellow valve stem is pushed all the way up. You'll know it's all the way up if you can push down on it a little bit. If it's all the way down like this, you won't be able to push down. And when you release your hose, air is gonna immediately start coming out of your tune. So be sure to twist it back to the left and it'll be all the way up like that. So we know we're ready to put air into the tune. Next thing, take this end of your hose, place it over, and then just simply twist to the right. Once that's in, you're ready to start pumping. All right guys, let's put some air in these. I'll see you in a second. Once you've reached the appropriate PSI, you just need to turn the hose to the left to unhook. Once the hose is unhooked, take the gray cap, place it over the yellow valve stem and twist the cap to the right to fasten it to the tune. So if you want to make this a little bit easier on yourself, we do offer electric pumps. Just ask a GoGo rental staff member about adding an electric pump to your bike rental. Now that our tunes are all aired up, our next step is just to add these four metal poles into the bike and then into the tunes. They do have one shorter end and one longer end. The shorter end will be going into the tunes and the longer end will be going into the bike. Start by pushing in the metal tabs on the end of the pole. Then you'll insert the pole into the bike frame. Check to make sure that both metal tabs are now sticking out of the corresponding holes in your bike frame. Now that we have all four of our poles into the bike, we'll start by putting this side tune on. If you do have a friend with you, this is a great time for them to help. If you're by yourself, it's still pretty manageable. Just lean the bike over to the side, slide your tune in, rest it on there, and it does work better if the bike is sitting level. If it's off to an angle like this, the poles tend to bind up and they're a little bit harder to slide in. Once the bike is sitting level, start by inserting both poles into the corresponding brackets. Once both poles are started, you'll then click in your two tabs on the metal poles and push them all the way in to the metal brackets until you hear the clicking noise. You'll then repeat this process on the opposite side once both poles are fully inserted and the metal tabs click, letting you know that they are secure, your bike is almost ready for the water. All right, guys, we're almost ready. Last step, by far the easiest step, is just to put our running boards onto our metal poles.
first thing we're going to do is take off our running board. Next, we're going to unsnap both of the tunes from the metal poles. I like to pick the bike up, just kind of push that over, set the bike down. Take the remaining poles out of the bike. Now that we've got everything apart, we'll move everything off to the side, except for the tunes. We're gonna take the air out of the tunes, roll those up, and we'll be ready to put everything back in our bag. To take the air out of the tunes, first remove the gray cap by twisting it to the left, then push down and twist the yellow valve stem to the right to let air out of the tune. Once this is done, you can repeat this process on the other tune. Okay, starting at the opposite end, you're gonna take this end and roll it up about to where you guys see this bracket. Put some weight on it, you'll hear the rest of the air going out. Once it's almost deflated, you're gonna do that one more time. Your last fold should end just before the valve stem. Now that we have everything disassembled, we're ready to put it back in the bag. But before we do, please take the time to rinse everything with some fresh water. The salt water is extremely corrosive to our metal parts and any seals that we may have on the tunes themselves. Once you're all rinsed off, it's time to put everything back in the bag. Start by stacking the tunes on top of each other. Next, start sliding the bag onto the bottom of the tunes. Once the bag is about halfway up on the tunes, you can pick the bag up and let the tune slide the rest of the way into the bag. Slide your two running boards into the front of the bag. Lastly, take your four metal poles and place them inside of the front pouch. All right guys, and we are all packed up and ready to return to GoGo -Go Rental. I hope everyone had a great time on the water today. Thank you so much for choosing to rent with us and we'll see you next time.